Today, I'm celebrating St. Patrick's Day this week, so I'm gonna make all sorts of Irish meals. Today, I'm going to do cream of cabbage soup. So you start with a whole stick of butter and you melt that sucker. And then you're gonna add this. I've got one and a half onions here, chopped up. And actually, let's shed some light on that situation. There you go. Then I've got almost a whole head of cabbage, but it's like two thirds to three quarters of the head and I chopped it up. I think this is a pretty cheap meal. All this week's gonna be cheap meals, potatoes, cabbage, onions, all cheap produce, but delicious. Oops, we have a stray onion. Okay, so now I'm gonna saute this in butter. And for some reason, I just can't help myself when I'm sauteing stuff. I love to season it. So we're gonna put a little salt and pepper to taste. You, you can omit this if you don't want to add that, but I always think it gives it a good little season. So now I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up. And I'm gonna let this cook with a medium heat for 10 more minutes. In the meantime, I've chopped some veggies and I'm going to start chopping some red potatoes. So you can meet me back here in 10 minutes and we'll add the other veggies. Thanks. Hi, welcome back. It's been 10 minutes and all of this is sauteing yummy. I'm gonna add, this is about, this is about nine and 10, or 11 small red potatoes. I left the peels on because it's so good and I chopped them up pretty small and I'm going to add it to the pot. Whoops, what a mess. Then I also have, I dropped a couple, I need to save these. Ah, hot. Good thing I cleaned my stove. Okay, so we're gonna stir those in. And then I also have four big old carrots chopped up. We're gonna add those. Look at all that delicious color. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Then I chopped up some green onions and some leek. And I'm gonna add that. Which also adds some amazing color. And I'm gonna stir that up. It was just one leek. I didn't chop up the bottom part because there was like dirt in there and even after I washed it. So it's just the top part. And for the green onions, it's probably about five or six of the little stems. So then I'm gonna put that in there. Now I'm gonna let this saute for about 10 more minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and cover it while it's sauteing. And then I'm going to get four cups of water started boiling Oops, wrong burner. And so in the meantime, while this is simmering for 10 more minutes, get this water boiling. And we're gonna add three things of this Noor vegetable bouillon. Here's what it is. And I've got, I actually might add four because I like to have real good seasoning. And then also I have nine or five more cups of water in this pitcher that I'm gonna add to it. So see you in a few. Hello. Okay, so this water boiled and I went ahead and added the bouillon uh, to it. This has been simmering for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna give it a stir. I did stir it a couple times because we don't want the bottom to get too brown. It does add some flavor, but we just don't wanna burn anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the water, the five cups of water, kind of clean my spoon off. And then um, I'm gonna add this Hopefully all that bouillon dissolved. It's vegetable bouillon. I just used nor, which I showed you earlier. But um, another thing I really like, this is one of my favorites. It's this uh, better than bouillon. I might add a little tablespoon of this as well. Now we're gonna let this simmer for 30 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna be chopping some dill cause I'm going to make a creamy paste to put in there. So I'll see you back in 30 minutes. Thanks. Come to this one. You ready? 
Hello! It's the last part of the recipe, um, but before I begin, I want to tell you, um, usually I get inspiration from online, but this particular recipe I almost followed to a T, and it's not my own, so I just want to let you know that and let you know the site where you can go to get it, and it's called livingwellandspendingless.com, and I'll actually put a link to this particular recipe in the comments. Okay, so... I've got three tablespoons of butter here. I've got a whisk, I've got two cups of milk, and I've got a cup of whipping cream, four tablespoons of dill. So I'm gonna make a roux. Oh, and three tablespoons of flour. So I'm gonna add that flour to the butter, and I'm gonna whisk it and make a yummy roux. Look at that, oh my gosh. Cooking it just flavors it, makes it so good. So I've got my roux bubbling up here. I'm going to go ahead and add my milk while whisking. Mm. And then my one cup of heavy whipping cream. Oh my gosh, look at how slow it comes out of there. I want every last oh, bit. There aren't any for this recipe. <laughs> so now we've got that all nice, and I'm gonna whisk it. I've got it on uh, medium heat. We're gonna, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add this dill. It's fresh dill. Oh, it's so beautiful, the green against the white. And I want to get every last bit of dill that I can in there. Now that's about four tablespoons. Now, you're supposed to add salt and pepper to this, but I've already added salt and the taste with all the bouillon and stuff already tastes salty, so I'm just going to add pepper. And there's also Parmesan cheese, which makes it salty, so. Anyways, I got my dill, I got my pepper. We're cooking this up to make it thickened and bubbly. And then we're gonna add it to the regular soup when it's done. So I'll meet you back when it's time to add everything, okay? Tell me when. Hi, okay, so this has been going for 30 minutes. The house smells awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and add that cream mixture that we made with the dill. Try to get every last bit of that creamy goodness. Look at that, how, oh, that looks good. So it's going to thicken it up some and then I also want to add like about a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese and two cans of cannellini beans. They've been rinsed, drained and rinsed. A couple of them are trying not to be in there so. Alright. Oh there's a little more cream, I can't stand it. <laughs> I'm horrible. Okay, so there is the soup. Doesn't that look awesome? It's probably not as thick as I envisioned it, but I think it'll still be really good. If I were to add my own spin, I might do more flour or something. Should we give it a little taste? Hold on, I'm gonna give it a spoon probably really hot but I'll let you know whether it's worth making. Ooh, I got a carrot. Oh, it's worth making. See you later.